Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do two things. The first is how to create more than one artboard, or more than two artboards, in a document, in one document. Um, the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, save things as a PDF, because that's how I want you to turn in this assignment. I don't want to get three different um, Adobe Illustrator documents. It takes too long for me to download, and it's bad file etiquette on your part. So I'm going to teach you good file etiquette by showing you how to save these types of documents as PDFs. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is to show you how to create more than one artboard. You notice I have my artboard uh, panel open. If you don't have it open, go to Window and draw, go down here to Artboards and choose it, and the artboard panel will appear. Um, if you want the, the artboard panel to be over here, you can just throw it in here, and then um, it, it would be like that. You could also put the artboard panel in this thing right here and just click on it and it would it would um, show up so all right so i have two artboards right here in one document you can tell an artboard by this uh, kind of black border and you can tell which one is active by clicking on the artboard and notice now this one is darker and this one is lighter so i have two different artboards if i want to make another artboard it's similar to creating a new layer you just click on the new artboard button and it creates an artboard that is the same size as the last artboard you created. However, if you want the artboard to be a different size, it is quite easy to do. Notice I just double clicked on artboard three that I created. Um, you can go up here and go document setup and then click edit artboards. And the last, the artboard that was currently selected is the one that it shows the size. Notice it says five inches by five inches. If I would like this to be five inches wide by 10 inches high, I can just type 10 inches in the height, hit enter. And now that artboard, I will zoom out by going control minus. Now that artboard is five inches by 10 inches. Now that is how you make a new artboard. You can also move the artboards around now let me let me move it around. You can also move an artboard around by just clicking and dragging it when you're in the Edit Artboards panel. To get out of that, just hit Escape. Okay, now I'm going to put a few things on this particular um, new artboard that I just created. I'm going to hold down the space bar. I'm going to move the whole screen over a little bit. I'm going to go Control Plus to zoom in. Eh, I don't want to go that far. I'll just leave it there. Now I'm just going to create a few, a few shapes here. Okay, create a rounded rectangle, and then I'll create a, an ellipse. And I'm going to change the color just so I have different stuff on there. And then I'm going to do one other shape. Maybe I'll do a star. I think a star would be nice. I'm going to leave it partway off that page, that, that artboard, just so you can see what happens when you do that. I'm going to give that a different color too. All right, now I'm going to save this as a PDF. There are two ways to do this. The first way uh, isn't always, you know, it, this is the way that works in most um, programs that you have on your computer, especially if you have the Adobe, the PDF distiller. So it, uh, you go to the print, you go to print, and it, in, for a printer you choose, uh, instead of one of your printers, you choose Adobe PDF. But we're not going to do that. In Illustrator, you can go right to the Save As dialog box and choose Adobe PDF. Notice you have, you can save it as an Illustrator, FXG, EPS. I haven't taught you about that one, but I'm going to. Um, but Adobe PDF is what we want to do. And I'm going to call this file uh, three artboards. And I'm going to save it in my Digital Media Quarter 2 folder and click Save right there. Sometimes uh, it then I'm just going to take the defaults right here. I'm not going to worry about them right now and cl just click Save as PDF. Now I'm going to go into that folder. Here's the folder and, and here's uh, an Adobe PDF called Three Artboards. I'm going to double click on it. We'll notice on page one we have the logos just like we have. On page two I have those other shapes and on page three I have those three shapes. Now notice the star right here. You know how, how part of it was off the artboard? That's why it doesn't show up in this page three of the PDF. It's the third artboard. It's page three of the PDF. And um, that's what happens when you don't, when you leave it off part of the artboard. This is what I want you to turn in 
after you have your three posters done for this assignment, I want you to turn in the, um, the one with the luxurious poster. Then you have the CD cover. That was the third one. And then the, um, the movie poster, uh, the summary mo movie poster. Some of you can choose to do a Halloween one, which is fine with me. This is the document you turn in. Don't turn in an Adobe Illustrator document. And that is all for now.